lesson 29 using the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm pretty sure you guys already know the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs of a right triangle and c is a hypotenuse. So we're going to first just go over what a Pythagorean triple is. A right triangle can only be considered a Pythagorean triple if all three side lengths of a right triangle are whole numbers. So some examples would be uh, 3, 4, 5. And when we do our triples, we write our triples, we put the, the leg lengths first and the hypotenuse last. So the biggest number should always be last. 5, 12, 13 is a triple. 8, 15, <coughs> 17. So I'm giving you examples of triple. 7, 24, 25, 20, 21, 29. 9, 40, 41. So these are six examples of triples. Any multiple of these is also a triple. And that means if you take a whole number, uh, well, a counting number, and multiply each of the three numbers by the same counting number, then that set of three numbers will also be a triple. In other words, if I took 8, 15, 17, and doubled each number. So I times them all by 2, and I got 16, 30, 34, then that would also be a triple. If a right triangle is not a Pythagorean triple, I'm just going to put a triple, one or more sides may be written as a radical expression. So unless you're told to round to the nearest decimal point, then leave the side length as a rational expression. So here's an example. We have a right triangle, one Side length is 6 meters, the other one is 12. Find the hypotenuse. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem and do 6 squared plus 12 squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So 36 plus 144 equals h squared, 180. So the hypotenuse is the square root of 180, which we can simplify to 6 root 5. And then we would put our label meters on. And so um, just a reminder not to be scared of the irrational numbers. It's still a number. And we can stop there and don't have to do any more. Yes? Okay, so does, it, does that mean that any three numbers that are whole numbers are is a triple? If it forms a right triangle. Only if it forms a right triangle. Um, okay, that's the end of the lesson. <laughs>